Um, to low, tagging low. I was born in the United Kingdom, uh, Edmonton, North Middlesex Hospital in the UK. Yeah, and then um, uh, my grandmom flew to that place and then brought me to Ghana at the age of I think six to get into seven months, and I stayed in Accra for some time. I went to Solid Foundation. I stayed at Abilene I continued to Golden Age. Golden Age um, International School too at Abilene Then afterwards, um, I moved. My mom returned from London to Ghana, so she came for me. She took me to Kumasi, where I started schooling at King's International School at Yenyao, so the term. So, um, so after King's, I went to Cambridge International. Further, further it to uh, I went to so many schools. Further it to Maria Montessori at um, Odenho Quad so. Then after Odenho Quad so, I graduated to Pempe College. So I heard a lot of I've heard a lot of artists say that they actually discovered they could do music at, at a very tender age. At what point did you realize you have music in you? Music has been part of me since childhood. I've I've loved music and it's like music has been a full if I was to be a car to the body system, you understand? More uh, music um, um, empowers me to accomplish so many things. Even if um, I'm washing, when I was young, I'm washing or I'm doing any um, physical activity with music being played at the background, I feel so motivated that uh, I, I try and then do more. Um, talking about when music is not there, but when the music is there, it boosts my, my potentials. Okay, so I'm not oblivious of the challenges an underground artist go through. Yeah. Has there ever been a point in your life where you, you actually wanted to give up on music because you were trying so hard and you were not hitting the top? I've tried so hard and I've gone to the limits. I've tried as best as I can to shine, but my, my challenge is recently when an, an event was being organized at Swedro, you know I'm based in Accra, so I contacted the event organizer and then um, I asked if I would get the opportunity to perform at Swedro, where this guy said yes, I will get this opportunity. So I immediately organized my dances because as a professional musician, I have those crew at my back ready to um, jump the stage at any point in time. So I organized my, my dancers like two. They came to me, we costumed ourselves with a tilo and then we set off for Swedro around 4 p.m. Where we got there around 9 to 10 p.m. in the night. So upon reaching there, um, we entered the, the, it was a stadium. I saw the event organizer. I told him that I was the guy who spoke to you. He said I should come and perform, so I'm him. But to my surprise, he just told me to pay the gate fee. Where I, 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 I didn't want to pay because I was on board, which I thought. But uh, on the second thought, too, I, was, I, I decided to pay to support the show. Because um, to give me a platform on your event is, is, is a plus. So paying for a gate fee for the three didn't really bother me. So I just paid and entered. Upon entering, I stood there. And then I was waiting for this guy to call me on stage. I stood there and stood there and stood there and stood there like 2 o'clock a.m. It was on a Bradford show which took place at um, Swedro, Paimuka something, something like that. Paimuka yeah, Paimuka's concert. Yeah, I stood there. Hey! So like 2.33, so I, I approached this organizer. Then he told me, I'll call you, I'll call you, I'll call you. And then... It was to my surprise that after a while I called this guy in there, he'd just be snobbing me. And even I was just standing, it reached the point I was standing. I stood there. I saw a chair. I wanted to sit on the chair. I, I, I saw from the back that this guy ordered one of his personnel to go and take the chair from where I'm standing so that I'll keep on standing that I wouldn't sit. It was very painful um, 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 experience that um, returning 4 o'clock a.m. I did, uh, we didn't sleep all. We got to uh, Accra around 7 a.m. where I had also had to go to work and then open them. So you have a big shop, a spare parts shop. Yeah. Is it Hetty's Auto Lights? Yeah. 
and no pearl parts. Yes, yes. Now, this is a big shop. Yeah. You sell goods. Yeah. You and do this, music. This, this is not the only shop. I have two shops. You have, you have, other, shops. have other shops. Now, you're doing music as well. How difficult is it combining business with music? Because music itself, it's a big business. So, how difficult is it? Yeah, it's very difficult, but uh, as you can see, I have personnel around here who um, sell my goods and account to me. And my mom, who introduced me into this business, is mostly also around this place. And for the other shop too, I have staff also there who take care of the, the shop. And they have been so good that they manage everything according to what I tell them. And if they find any challenge, they just give me a call. So that I, I quickly react to um, anything, any difficulty that they are facing. And talking about the music part, um, it's, it's not easy combining music and business because they are all big stuff together. But with me, I have a passion for music. And I don't think even if it should be not professionally safe, I will not still be doing music. I love music from my infancy. So um, I, 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 I set up dates and, and schedules with producers uh, after work you understand so um, they'll give me the beat to rehearse and then create my concept then in the night after work I head to their studios then they record me we have fun talk about music and stuff like that so for now it's good uh, uh, it's just that uh, I'm on my record label but I'll be happy if um, I get a special management team uh, who can handle my business aspect so that I can also concentrate a little bit on my work and a little bit on my business because combining two is a it's a big challenge there's one topic we can't shy away from that is the outbreak of the coronavirus recently I saw one of your shows being cancelled you had a show at Legon yes, yes. and it's been cancelled how is this having a tool on your music business because you can't organize shows you can't have large gatherings uh, that is a directive that came from the president how is this affecting your music life for me for example uh, cancelling of that event has been a big blow to me because to get a big stage to perform on is it's not easy to get it so as i was i was i was booked on um, WhatsApp TV 63rd Legon Hall Week um, event, which was cancelled. Charlie, my mind all oh, got confused because I know that Charlie, this is the moment that I was expecting, and then and, and I prayed Ghana would, especially Legon people, will, will see my art, feel my art, because my EP album is out, that is Superstar, which I had wanted to um, talk about, and then perform for the youth of Ghana to know what Tilo is all about. So as these things have happened, it has been a very big challenge to us. And moreover, even going to the clubs has been restricted because, you know, all those are the places where uh, we advert our music and then for the people to patronize. So when it, it happens that uh, there is a ban on it, Charlie, it's not easy. It's it's kind of hectic and then might affect our music um, career. Now I've seen a few artists do songs to create awareness on the coronavirus and you are one of the few artists. How challenging was this to create a song for the coronavirus? Because this is an epidemic that broke not long ago and I know sometimes it takes months for someone to come out with a song but you were able to come out with one. How, how, how did you come about that? Thug Nation, Tilo, is Tilo, Thug Nation, it's all about good vibes. And as you, as you know and studied my music for some time, Thug Nation, Tilo, Thugging Low is all about development. So, um, talking about development, anything that comes to the system, which I feel like, no, let me voice it out for the, for the people to be aware of some epidemic or the take precautions of some movement and stuff. Uh, I find it's a necessity that, no, why don't I contribute to that? So um, I was motivated with that brain, that mindset, to come out with a song, uh, creating awareness about coronavirus, how to prevent it, and then the way forward uh, to, to, to help bring it down and then to prevent it. Okay, so you recently embarked on the projects that is 
uh, advising the youth against Tramadol and also uh, promoting p a peaceful general election in 2020. Do you have any plans of embarking on such projects for the coronavirus outbreak? Or you have any advice that you want to give your fans out there? Uh, as I started um, the 7th March Tilow Independence Day pool party at Yegola, uh, I launched uh, a theme that we're creating awareness uh, for peace during election and then campaigning towards so the abusive of trauma door. And since this epidemic to us involved itself into the society, we will definitely, me and my, 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 my crew, my, my tag nation crew, we will definitely fix this epidemic to inside so that we can, we can advertise it, take it uh, worldwide for people to know um, um, what that uh, epidemic can cause and then create awareness. And secondly, we, we intend, we, we had wanted to do these pool parties monthly, but as you can see and then as you can as you know what's going on, the, the, the ban has really affected all those plans for now. So what we intend to do is just relax and then pray that we all be in good state, good health, and then so after a time when the ban is uplifted, then we see the way forward. The Ghana music scene is a very, very big industry. Where do you see the brand Tilo in the next 10 years? Tilo, Tag Nation is a worldwide icon. Tag Nation is, is to the world. Tag Nation is a movement which is said to affect the life, uh, affect, influence the life of the people, the ghettos, the, the, the orphanages the less privileged ones it's not about you musician getting money acquiring cars houses floating around in public showing you guys your stuff you get money than other musicians that is not the main motive of an, an artist artists uh, to be a celebrity people must celebrate you and they must celebrate you for a reason and with that reason most of our big stars in ghana right now lack that thing because the ghettos are the people who uplifted their career for them to be where they are right now. So, me, Tilo, as an artist for 10 years, my life will, 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 will be celebrated because I want to um, help the needy, the poor, the, the sick, the less privileged in, the, in my music career. The success of this must be uh, dedicated to the orphanage whereby um, helping them live a better life. So in, that, in, in, in such a situation, tagging low in 10 years will be a worldwide icon, which may be in the next 10 years, I might be a statue of this town or something like that. So your final words to Ghanaians as we are in a time of crisis? Yeah, my final words to Ghanaians is that stay away from crowded people. You understand? Use soap and water running water to wash your hands frequently and then cover your nose with the nose mask i have mine but since um, we quarantined ourselves with the sanitizers yeah, we are safe to talk and after even we're going to sanitize ourselves with the sanitizers i want Ghanaians to stay safe every life is very important we love you and then keep supporting tagging low music thank you you're welcome